For those of you that regularly watch my videos, you might be aware that I'm trying to save a bit of woodland behind my house. And uh, here's some images of the woodland, and actually this is halfway through the work, so you can imagine what it looked like before. And uh, we've been working on it for over a year now, and we're getting somewhere finally, and this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it's already like a different place. Even though there's a long way to go, we've got fox burrows to make and loads of more habitats, but it's getting there. And this is one of my wonderful volunteers, Steve, who's posing in front of the camera there. Um, but it's a, it's a work in progress. Here's another angle from what it looked like about a year ago. I think the best word that describes what's been done to this woodland is uh, disgusting. It's vile and I found things in the ground in the last 15 months that I wouldn't have in my bin, let alone in a beautiful piece of woodland. There's been so many chemicals and vats of strange liquids and stuff that I've had to take away. It really was a tough challenge. We're not really at the end yet, but we're, we're about three quarters of the way through and there is light at the end of the tunnel. Here's uh, that same piece as it stands now. So when I see shots like this, it makes me feel a little bit better that I'm actually getting somewhere. Uh, here's the guys at work today. Hello, welcome to Wild About Nature again and it's hedgehog saving time because the hedgehogs are dying and there's not a lot of hope at the moment so it's important we do all we can. So we've already seen the first habitat down the way. This is the second kind of design made from old bricks. I've got my slaves here working hard. We're tidying up. As you can see, there's quite a difference. We're tidying up the woods, making a big pile of rubble, cleaning out all the plastics and pollutants and old bags and what have you from the woods trying to restore it and this is all the old bricks from that and you can see we've made two chambers here which are going to be covered with old decking then some sort of waterproof membrane then I have some old leaves to fill them with and then finally we're going to pile earth over the whole thing now I haven't put any ventilations in holes in the back of these because the bricks have gaps all the way around and there's gaps between the two chambers so hopefully they'll ventilate themselves but who knows hedgehogs in this area very rare i've put the word out to prickles and the british hedgehog preservation society and folly wildlife and uh, loads of other wildlife sort of places that rescue injured hedgehogs in the hope that we'll get some orphaned ones that we can relocate here so who knows it's a it's all a big science project really so enjoy the video i'll mash something something together now so you can see it being constructed. Thanks. <laughs> 